Hey guys, I want to show you some uh, levitation. So, to do this, you need the, you need one of these speakers. This is a it's an ultrasonic directional speaker. They're about 500 bucks. You can make your own with the individual pieces. But I guess the the most curious aspect of these directional speakers is how they levitate objects. So here you've got a piece of this. I mean, it's it's not that impressive. It's styrofoam. It's a light piece of styrofoam. It obviously doesn't, you know, it's pretty light. But when you add a sound through the speaker, I'm just going to add a frequency, a random frequency from an online generator of say 333 when you add the frequency you'll see the styrofoam levitate if you move this back and forth it's really hard to see with this Hold on. there you go so now you can kind of see it's difficult but they're levitating. And you can see they're just sitting there in midair. I gotta get a better camera set up. You could reproduce this pretty easily. So I guess I guess my question is why is this levitating? If I use a regular speaker, it doesn't do anything. So there's some ideas. I'll put I'll put a link in the in the description to the uh, acoustic levitation videos. Typically, they tell you you need a standing wave to levitate an object, but this this is not a standing wave because there's nothing that this is bouncing off of. It's just bouncing off the object. If it was bouncing off the ceiling and there was a point in the middle where you could put a little, you know, piece of styrofoam, that would make more sense. But here, so watch, if I add, if I add another tone right around the same frequency, let's say you go up or down, you're going to be able to, you're going to be able to see a direct pattern. So I don't know if you could hear it, but you could see I'm, I'm playing two frequencies next to each other. In this case, it's 333 and 332, and you can see there's a clear distinction and a clear movement. So now, if I if I mute the volume completely, they're gonna fall. And then when I turn the volume back on, they go back into that same pattern. And as I drop the frequency, their pattern changes. You can see it. You can see there's still a slight movement, but as you get closer to 333, they have this like wider movement. I mean, most people think like, "What the hell is the point of this?" But I guess my idea is, if we could levitate. A small object like this, why can't you levitate a larger object? So, if you place this little piece of styrofoam here, you'll see they fly, it flies right away. You gotta get it right so it stays floating. do another piece of styrofoam it just floats it won't you won't, it won't even be able to sit on top of the platform
Now there's another study that came out saying that sound actually had a anti-gravitational property, so it actually floats up against gravity. Most people are going to say that that's not what we're seeing here. But I guess it's interesting because we're controlling this object just with sound. It's floating in the it's floating in midair. So anyway, put your uh, thoughts in the comments. The ultrasonic speaker is actually made of these individual. Let me pause this. And so when I shut it off, it's going to drop. Inside here, there's these individual, these small ultrasonic diodes, or whatever you'd call them. And each one, so this, is, this was strange too, each one's made of a crystal, quartz crystal. And most people, you know, when you talk about crystals, they think you're insane, but clearly it's having some sort of levitation effect. So I'm just wondering why you couldn't, you couldn't amplify this exact property with a larger speaker. Anyway, that's the video for today. You can levitate objects with quartz.